Hi guys, welcome to AppyChip. In this video, we are going to learn how to auto scale your pods in Kubernetes cluster using HPA. HPA stands for Horizontal Pod Auto Scaler, and we also have VPA, which stands for Vertical Pod Auto Scaler. We will see the difference between these two and we will have a demo of HPA using Minikube. So, nowadays it is very important to have. Uh, to support huge traffic in your environment and you should have auto scaling and downscaling in place to support that huge traffic and Kubernetes provides this kind of facility using HP and VPA. So VPA is vertical pod auto scaler. In vertical pod auto scaler what it do is it allocates more or less CPU or memory to existing pods. Suppose you are running a pod with uh, a memory of 1 GB and if the traffic increases, it increases the uh, the memory or the CPU of that pod directly uh, and it acts on that particular pod. So it do the following verb. It checks uh, the metric values you configured during uh, the setup and the default value to check is 10 seconds so at every 10 seconds it is checking the threshold that you have configured uh, for your deployment and accordingly it will act when the threshold is met VPA attempts to change or allocate the memory or uh, you know increase or decrease the CPU so VP, uh, VPA mainly updates the resources inside the deployment or replication controller so when you create your manifest that is your uh, yml file uh, for uh, any deployment uh, so uh, changes are generally made in that and when pods are restarted it allocates uh, new memory or cpu and uh, applied to the created pods what hpa does is hpa scales up and down the number of pod replicas so suppose you are running two pods and if you have a uh, huge traffic and the threshold is met then HPA increases the number of pods or the number of replica of your pods so HPA continuously checks metric values you configure during setup and uh, the default value is 30 seconds it increases the number of pods if the specified threshold is met HPA mainly updates the number of replicas inside the deployment or replication controller as I explained in the case of VPA as well. The deployment replication controller would then roll out any additional needed pods. So it will spin up more pods or it will decrease the number of pods depending on the traffic and the threshold. So in this video we are going to see the HPA as a demo and we will use Minikube. So I have already set up Minikube and kubectl uh, in my laptop and if you want to configure it you can follow this tutorial and set it up. So let's see uh, I have started my Minikube server using the command Minikube start and I already have kubectl set up so I can check if uh, I have nodes. So I have one node which is in ready state. and. Uh, the very first thing we need to do is enable metric server. So let's see uh, if we have uh, metric server enabled or not. Gen just in case if you don't have, you, we have the command to enable it. So this is the list and this is the metric server which is already enabled. So if it is not enabled, please enable it using this command. The next thing is you need to create a manifest file for nginx so in this example we are taking we will be spawning a pod for nginx and we are going to create a deployment of that. So this is the manifest file that you need to create. I already have it uh, to just brief you about how to create uh, I mean what uh, what exactly the meaning uh, of these content is. So this is an deployment kind of object and uh, the name we have given is nginx it will have one pod and the level we have put is nginx and uh, uh, we have specified the image name and the container port would be 80 and uh, we have specified how much CPU it can use. Similarly we will create another file nginx-hpa.yml so HPA is horizontal pod autoscaler we are going to create it for this particular deployment 
so we have specified the kind as horizontal pod auto scaler and we have named it as nginx and uh, the uh, we, uh, and we have associated with the deployment nginx which we created here the minimum number of replicas would be one and the max replicas that means if uh, the threshold mats it will spawn up max up to 10 pods and the target cpu utilization would be 10 so at uh, so whenever the cpu utilization reaches more than 10 percent it is gonna spawn up uh, uh, another pod so we are going to apply this manifest file and we are going to create this deployment and HPA using this command kubectl apply hyphen nginx dot yml and the same for the HPA so as you can see I have already have these files So the deployment is created now we will we are going to create the HPA now we will check its status so this is the HPA which is created and uh, we will also check if uh, we have the pods okay we have one pod running now since we have uh, the pods up and running we are going to expose this deployment nginx and uh, so that we can access it over some url so we are going to create another thing which is known as service in kubernetes so we are going to expose this deployment nginx with a service whose name is nginx hyphen service so let's run this command So we have service okay we have service and since we have exposed this and uh, the service is created now we will need the URL to access this nginx service so we can run this command to get the URL and uh, you need to provide the service name which was uh, being given as nginx hyphen service so this is the url let's try to hit this in the browser and let's see if we are getting the nginx default page okay we are getting the default page that means it is accessible now since we have created the service and it is accessible we will generate some load and see if uh, the pods are uh, increasing so to generate the uh, load we are going to uh, use a shell so I am going to run this in a new tab so we are going we will uh, get a bash shell and uh, we will run a loop to access this uh, uh, nginx page so this is a bash we have got and uh, we are going to run this command and we will change this URL to the URL of nginx which we just accessed so I'm going to remove this URL and we'll update this with uh, the one which we have got okay it has started accessing it and it is in loop so it will continuously generate the load and now we will see if we have got some uh, load on the HPA see it uh, it is 0% as of now out of the 10% and uh, the replica is set to 1 as of now and it will go max up to 10 so let's see if the load is uh, increasing it might take some time meanwhile let's check how many ports we have so as of now two pods one is of nginx and one uh, of the load generator which we are running here so it is continuously running the 
might take some time let's wait for it meanwhile I will pause the video okay finally we have some load uh, which is more than 10 percent and let's see if we have uh, the pods increasing okay we have some pods which are already uh, running and uh, which and few are in the process of creation and uh, yeah we have uh, quite uh, a number of pod so this is how the scaling works and now if we are going to stop the load and see if the load is decreasing it will again take some time to update because as I said it checks in some uh, some interval so it's gonna wait uh, for that interval and then it's gonna check it see the load is getting decrease and uh, and accordingly the number of ports will also get decrease so as of now since the load is more than 10 percent so it will keep all those ports up and running once it reaches uh, the threshold i mean it goes below the thresholds it's gonna kill the containers so it will automatically check at regular interval and it will take some time uh, meanwhile you can get all these commands and uh, uh, all these screenshots and the the video tutorial on our blog app chip and uh, you can follow our youtube channel and subscribe it I'm going to put the link of the blog in the in the description section of this video so that it will be easy for you to try it out and please provide your feedback see the target has uh, uh, updated now and we have 0% let's check if how many pods we have okay we still have but it's gonna it's gonna uh, kill it now so here is our blog you can follow the tutorial here and uh, I'm going to put the link of this uh, uh, blog in the description section of the video I hope you enjoyed the tutorial please provide your feedback keep learning keep sharing thanks for watching